Hello and welcome everyone to this lecture of Kamri Law. In this lecture, we are going to go through section 61, which speaks about alteration of share capital. Now, we know that there are different clauses which are given by the company in the memorandum of association at the incorporation stage of the company. One of the clauses is capital clause. The other ones being name clause, situation clause, your registered office clause, or you can call it as liability clause, subscription clause, and object clause. One of them is share capital clause, capital clause. In capital clause, the company will be providing details of authorized share capital, subscribed share capital, issued share capital. Now, in case the company wants to make any alteration due to different reasons, that alteration is covered under section 61. Okay, so this much is clear. So let us get into section 61 straight away. See, in case a company limited by share wants to alter its share capital or capital clause in the memorandum of association, then they can do that provided the articles of association authorize the same. Secondly, the company will also have to pass an resolution in the general meeting. So what are the five types in which the alteration of share capital can take place. The very first one is increase in the authorized share capital. We all know that in accounts we have seen that in the liability side we have authorized share capital which is normally and capital which the company fixes at the time of incorporation itself. And then out of the authorized share capital the company issues some shares to the shareholder as per the requirement fund requirement that the company has. In case a particular company has an uh, authorized share capital of 10 crores and the issued share capital is 5 crores. Now the company is in requirement of more funds and they want to come up with another public issue of around 10 crores. That means the authorized share capital has to be increased by 5 more crores. This alteration in the authorized share capital will happen as per section 61. Okay, I hope this first point is clear to all of you. Now the second point is consolidate. The company can consolidate its shares, divide it into a larger amount. First, the company will consolidate the shares and then divide it into larger amount. That means in case the company has shares today of say 10 rupees face value of 10 rupees face value per share okay and the total share capital of the company is say 10 lakh rupees okay now the company what the company will do is that all the shares of 10 rupees they will consolidate it into 10 lakh rupees and re-divide it into a larger amount that means the earlier face value was, was 10 rupees and now they may issue it with a larger amount for example 100 rupees per share okay so that is another type which is known as consolidate and divide all or any of it into a larger amount similarly an opposite type type is subdivide the shares into smaller amount it is like split where a 10 rupees face value share is converted into rupees one face value share or rupees two face value share for example the total capital will remain the same but the number of shares will increase okay that is your point number four now point number three says that the shares can be converted into stock wherever there are fully paid up shares they can be converted into stock and then reconverted into fully paid up shares this is done normally by a company in case of reconstruction and such kind of transactions such kind of a transaction is also known as alteration to the share capital. And the last one is, if say uh, a company is coming up with a public issue where only 95% of the uh, issued capital was subscribed by the public. So hence there is 5% which has not been taken up by any of the shareholders or any of the institutional investors also. And hence this 5% will now be cancelled by the company and 95% will be retained as issued capital. So this is known as 
cancel the shares which on the date of passing has not been ta taken or agreed to be taken by any person and diminish the amount of the share capital by the amount of shares so cancelled so this is your point number 5 so five types in which you can do uh, alteration of share capital increase the increase the authorized share capital second consolidate and divide into a larger amount third subdivide and divide into a smaller amount fourth convert into stock and reconvert into shares this shall be fully paid up shares and lastly those shares which have not been taken up or agreed to be taken up by any person then in that case you can cancel and diminish the amount such cancellation mind you will not result into will not result into reduction of share capital since these shares had not been subscribed by anybody okay so cancellation of such shares that is point number 5 shall not be deemed to be reduction of share capital i will be speaking about reduction of share capital separately under section 66 we have a special section that is section 66 in this chapter itself lastly a company whenever they are going to do any kind of alteration the alteration may be consolidating converting subdividing redeeming cancelling or stock being reconverted the company has to give a notice to the registrar before carrying out such an before carrying out such an act or such an transaction at least of 30 days to whom to the roc this is covered under section 64 section 64 only speaks about notice to be given to the roc i hope this is also clear last point is that there is an icai module question which speaks about the directors of mars india limited desire to alter the capital clause of memorandum of association of their company advise them under the provisions of the companies act about the ways in which that clause can be altered what are the ways the ways will be these five ways which we had discussed the first one is authorized share capital being increased authorized share capital increased second is consolidate and divide into larger amount third is subdivide and convert the shares into a smaller amount or convert the share into share into stock and reconvert it into fully paid up shares and the last one is cancel those shares which have not been taken up or agreed to be taken up by any person okay so i hope this uh, section 61 is clear to you so you have to only list all five types over here only list all ty five types over here and how it has to be done what is the procedure for this i hope you have understood this particular section if you have understood it please like the video please subscribe the channel if you have not yet subscribed to the channel thanks a lot stay safe stay healthy